1916, California, USA, Jesse Irvin Overholzer, or Mr. O for short, preaches the gospel to the adults in his flock, but not the children. Then he read a sermon by Charles Spurgeon, which said a child of five, if properly instructed, can as truly believe and be regenerated as an adult. But in my heart, I said, Spurgeon, you're utterly wrong. A child of five can't savingly believe. And I tried to dismiss the thought, but the Holy Spirit burdened me with it more and more. And I saw that if there was any truth in his statement, that there was a door of opportunity lying open before us that we were not entering at all. For I knew of no one at that time who was leading small children to Christ. Finally, I decided to lead some children to Christ and then watch them and see whether there was any evidence of their being regenerated. Among the 20 children Mr. O led to Christ were two sisters. Soon after, their mother came to a revival meeting and accepted Christ herself. As soon as I felt that I could, I went to her and said, would you mind telling me what has influenced you to come to Christ? And she said, the changed lives of my two little girls. And that's what started me in town of Andrew. Mr. O left the pastorate and began a child evangelism movement. Inspired Christians gave funds to hire two full-time children's missionaries. Each missionary taught five after-school Bible clubs. In just the first three months, 300 children trusted Christ, and hundreds more attended the clubs. More volunteers joined the movement, but they needed training. In 1923, Mr. O started a school later known as Children's Ministries Institute. These new children's missionaries taught in churches, homes, and when there was no room indoors, they taught outside. Then in 1929, the Great Depression hit. Funds and morale were low, but God supported the missionaries and the work continued. Child Evangelism Fellowship, or CEF, was incorporated on May 20, 1937. Its first offices were donated by a volunteer, Mrs. Gwendolyn C. Armour. Mr. O traveled North America challenging churches to reach children. He preached from Matthew 18 so often the whole page wore out. Matthew 18, 14 says, So it is not the will of my Father who is in heaven that one of these little ones should perish. CEF ministry grew across the United States, but Mr. O's heart was heavy for the children of the world. He often wept as he prayed for an army of child evangelists encircling the globe. And God answered. In 1939, Mr. O traveled to six countries in three months, organizing CEF chapters. God called volunteers in these countries to begin Bible clubs, now called Good News Clubs, in their hometowns. In 1941, the first full-time overseas CEF missionaries, Mr. and Mrs. Brialt, took off for Brazil. By Mr. O's death in 1955, CEF had chapters in more than 1,000 U.S. cities and 60 other countries. And CEF continued to grow steadily. A fellowship of workers and leaders, missionaries and volunteers, board members and ministry partners. By God's grace, Mr. O's army of child evangelists continues to grow to this day. Our goal is to reach 100 million children each year. You can be a part of this growth. Join us in prayer for the children of the world. Give so more children can hear the good news. Or join us as a full-time worker or volunteer as the Lord leads you. With God's help, let's work together to reach every child, every nation, every day.